Hello everyone, this is something I've been thinking about doing for a while now and that is trying to provide a bit of a roundup of developments and updates to DCS with a specific focus on warbirds. I know that there's a number of other individuals and channels who provide summaries of the DCS development program. However, for me, my main interest in all of this is the Warbird stuff. And so I always find myself just going through all the material and the various posts on Reddit and various videos and comments looking specifically for the Warbirds material. So I thought, well, while I'm doing this, why don't I try and present my findings uh, on here on the channel? So here it is. This is the first one, and I want to start by looking at the update that came out uh, August the 1st, 2018. I'm just skipping forward to the relevant section of the forum, the ED forums, where the update is posted. Now, this is update for the open beta. This update is number, here we go, 2.5.2.20036, which is also referred to here as update 8. So going through this detail, there's really not much here um, that is specific to the warbirds, but there are one or two things I just wanted to pull out of it. In particular, this item here, this bullet point here, which says, eliminated the strange maneuvers of AI aircraft after attack a target in group. Okay, apart from the grammar being horrific and not really being able to understand what that means, I think this means that AI aircraft have been behaving strangely after attacking a specific target within a group of ground units and they've gotten rid of this apparently strange behavior or strange maneuvers. I'm not sure what that really means and I'm not sure if that replies, uh, re refers exclusively to the jet aircraft but I do notice with some of the World War II aircraft that they tend to circle around a target for quite some time before launching a first attack and then make some very wide turns before coming in and making a subsequent attack. It makes them look very vulnerable. I don't know if this is that, but it will be interesting to see the AI warbirds apply a bit more caution and, uh, or actually probably aggression, to their ground attacks. They tend to hang around in the target area way too long, and eventually they just will get nailed by by AA. So that might be a relevance. There are Hornet changes, Vigan changes. I do love the Vigan, but it's not relevant for us here today. There is one specific Warbird change that's identified for the Spitfire, and it says here that when you call the input panel in-game, will open the correct profile of the Spitfire modification. Once again, horrific English. It doesn't look like someone who speaks English as a first language has uh, reviewed any of these posts, so we have to kind of decipher it. It looks like this is a reference to the fact that when you were trying to set up the controls in the Spitfire, since they released the clipped wing version, there have been some problems with people's control inputs not saving or it's saving to the wrong aircraft of the two. I, said, I think what they're suggesting is that problem is now fixed. So for those players who've been having problems with control inputs between the two versions of the Spit, the clipped wing and the normal wing, that problem may now be solved. So I suggest update your beta if you have it and check whether that is working okay so those are the main changes i can see um, content wise there are some a campaign change here adding uh, for the charnwood the p51 campaign adding russian localization probably of no interest to anyone on my channel because i doubt anyone on my channel who views it is a russian located viewer but hello to those who are there was some then discussion on reddit and I'm going to go to Hoggett now. So after checking the official forums, I normally jump on the Hoggett subreddit on Reddit to check if there's any further information that arises from players having tested out the update or discussion. And unfortunately, well, <laughs> as usual, expected on Hoggett, there's almost nothing. Well, there is nothing about the Warbirds here. The, com the conversation is entirely around the changes to the modern jet aircraft and missiles and various things that are of no interest to us Warbirds people. So if you're interested in finding out what's happening on Hoggett with respect to this uh, update, um, I can save yourself the time and say pretty much no one over there seems interested in the Warbirds, so don't bother checking it. Back to the ED forums I go, and this isn't exactly Warbirds 
uh, directly related, but it is quite similar. And someone has posted a bunch of screenshots which appear to show the Yak-52 now in the open beta as an AI aircraft. Now this is quite interesting for us warbird types because my thinking is this. If Eagle Dynamics can get this thing into the game in what seems like a relatively short amount of time since it was last announced or first announced as an AI aircraft at least, can we expect similar development uh, timescales for the AI aircraft in the World War II asset pack that have been promised for certainly a lot longer than the Yak-52? I did ask the question here on the uh, World War II assets pack section of the forum. Okay, the question is a little bit cheeky, but, you know, I think the question should be asked. If the Yak-52 can so apparently quickly be put into the game as an AI, how about some more of our warbirds? So far, I've not had a response. However, I did see this. On the big discussion that has been developing over the last few months about whether or not the Normandy map is dead, there was an interesting comment from Nine Line, and I'm going to scroll and find that now. Here is the comment from Nine Line. It was posted on the 2nd of August, and it is this little section here. So this is comment number 98 in the Is Normandy Dead thread, and he says this. We have now made some headway on the P-47. I expect that to start making some news soon. There's that word soon that we've seen many times. That word is meaningless. The, the mosquito is coming. Yes, we know that. And I have ordered a whack of 262 documents for Yo-Yo. Okay, so there's definitely, these are uh, player modules. The P-47, the mosquito, and the 262. These will be huge player modules, I have no doubt. But they're still, in my mind, years away. I'm going to say years away because I I think that's a realistic assessment of how long these modules take to come to release. This is more interesting for me, and I think this is more immediate. Um, my definition of immediate is one month. I'm guessing um, it probably should be in the soon category, <laughs> the six-month soon category, but I'm going to go with immediate, one month. The asset pack is going to be getting some new AI aircraft soon. Oh, crap, there's that word again. And some other things I cannot speak of right now, but very exciting. Okay, so nine lines seems pretty clear that some AI aircraft will be coming to the asset pack. I don't like this word soon because <laughs> we have no idea what it means. And other things I cannot speak of right now. That's really interesting because I suspect that means stuff that hasn't previously been announced as, as being part of the asset pack looking forward. If this is true, then this would be great. But really, for me, this AI aircraft, we need three to four aircraft to really just make that asset pack come together a bit more co coherently. A German twin, perhaps an allied twin, and then just one or two single-engined things to flesh out the, the environment. I would like to see aircraft that are not frontline fighters in that AI asset pack, because we already have frontline fighters for both sides. So that is the roundup of the announcements for the open beta, which is the version of DCS that I use. Some good news, but we've got no real timelines, and uh, it looks like the current release really has no significant updates. There are a whole lot of bugs that have been posted on the Spitfire section of the forum. And I noticed quite nicely that Nine Line has gone through and updated the status of a whole bunch of these. So he's basically said whether the issue has been reported to ED or has been um, found to be a non-bug or un, uh, unrepeatable. So he's done a really good job, I think, of updating a whole bunch of these bugs. So my advice to people who find problems is to report your bugs. Report them as a single line in the bug forum, one line per bug. Try to provide evidence that the bug is there. Uh, this means things like screenshots or TRK files, all that sort of business. The more information you provide in your bug reports, the better. Okay, that's it for DCS Warbirds update for uh, the first week of August. I'm hoping that I can do these regularly, and if not, then 
someone will have to prompt me to get the hell on with it. Thanks for listening to me drone on. See you soon with another video with hopefully something more exciting. Such as fighting. <laughs>